Welcome to my deep dive into one of the most effective and strategic sweeps in Jiu Jitsu, the double pant sweep from the X Guard. This technique has been a game changer in competitive Gi Jiu Jitsu, offering a high percentage sweeping option by controlling both of the opponent's legs. Originally popularized by legends like Marcelo Garcia, and further evolved by athletes like Leandro Lowe, the X Guard and its techniques have become a staple in the arsenals of top competitors today. Whether you're new to the X Guard or looking to refine your sweeps, this video will provide you with the insights and techniques to elevate your game. Before we delve into the technique, let's clarify some key concepts. A leg entanglement, such as the X Guard, is a progression from a traditional guard, offering a superior control by positioning yourself directly under your opponent's center of mass. This strategic positioning allows for easier off balancing, sweeping, and back exposure. Unlike a more defensive guard, Leg entanglements focus on tying up the body, creating a bite that covers the knee line and leveraging grips for control. Understanding this distinction is crucial for effectively executing sweeps like the double pant sweep. The X guard was brought into the limelight by Marcelo Garcia. Leandro Lou later contributed to its evolution, showcasing how different body types and guard entries could be effectively utilized. This diversity and application set a new trend in competitive gi jiu jitsu, with a double pant sweep emerging as a standout technique for its efficiency and control. Often, when we enter a leg entanglement, one of the easiest sweeps we can attack is a basic back sweep. This option usually presents itself when your opponent is standing upright, with their chest somewhat in line with their hips. This is a very easy and high percentage sweep to execute. The issue, however, is that if the passer is aware of this, they will lean their chest significantly over their hips, making it almost impossible for the guard player to execute a back sweep. The passer can do this, or he can drop his far knee to the floor, lowering his center of mass, while simultaneously leaning his chest over his hips. This is where things get tricky, and the guard player needs to address this response. This is where we use the double pant sweep. Remember, the double pant sweep is a type of get-up sweep we can use when our opponent shuts down our back sweep. So we have to first threaten that back sweep to force our opponent to distribute his weight more forwards. At this point, the game is now about taking weight off of our opponent's leg that is inside the leg entanglement, okay, in this case, the X guard. To do this, we have to use our X guard hooks to bump our opponent either over our heads or away from us to force our opponent to make their hands or their far side leg heavy. Another way of looking at this is if you can lift your opponent's foot of the entangled leg off the floor. Once you achieve this, you'll be able to get up. However, it is also very important that you know how to get up. Similar to a technical stand-up, there is a method to getting up from the double pant grips. If we look at how most athletes get up from the double pant scenario, it involves bringing the chest over the hips and or bringing the feet behind the hips all the while maintaining those two pan grips from the very beginning. It's absolutely crucial that we don't lose these pan grips, otherwise this results in us having to finish a single leg, which is a lot harder than completing a double pan get-up sweep. To prevent losing one of these grips, if the guard player posts one of his elbows onto the mat, he will be able to use that as base without relinquishing one of those grips, a much better alternative to posting a hand on the floor, losing that grip, all for the purpose of getting up. Another thing to factor in is the path where you guide your opponent's leg. I highly recommend pushing your opponent's foot behind their other foot, as though you're making them perform a short back step. The reason why is because if we bring our opponent's foot high, sometimes we end up having our hand pushed behind our back, making it difficult to get up, as well as applying stress to our shoulder of the arm trying to push that leg up. When we force the short back step in our opponent, we're able to avoid that unnecessary pressure on the shoulder and it allows us to have a smooth get up with minimal resistance. It also allows us to move behind our opponent, meaning we don't have to drive directly into our opponent to get up. Common response to the double pant sweep is for the guard passer to pick up one of the legs of the guard player. When your leg is picked up, it's very hard for you to initiate your technical stand up. So a very good counter to this is to initiate an inside spin. We saw this with Tynan Delpra versus Andy Murasaki in the 2022 World's Finals. And the whole idea with this position is because Tynan couldn't get up to the initial side for the get up sweep, what he did was he utilized an in inside spin. Off of the inside spin, essentially what he did was he changed sides of the X guard. Again, because of the side switch, when he started to come up, Andy was technically holding on to 
the wrong leg, the leg that is, I guess, harder to keep the guard player down from when they're trying to come up for a double pants sweep. Double pants sweep is a testament to the evolution of jiu-jitsu and the strategic depth of leg entanglements. By mastering this sweep, you not only enhance your ability to control and off-balance your opponents, but also significantly expand your sweeping arsenal. Remember, the key to proficiency is consistent practice and a deep understanding of the principles we've discussed today. Keep training, stay curious, and elevate your game to new heights. That was not me, that was AI.